everybody, Casey here, and welcome to Home Cooking. If you're a returning family member, well, you know how we roll here. But if you're new to my channel, join the family. Click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that I can show you how to bring flavor to your dinner table. Today, I'm going to show you how I fixed a grocery store mistake and turned it into the most delicious, moist, and mouth-watering stovetop pot roast you'll ever roll around your mouth. And if you want to know how I do it, stay tuned. Grab a bit of this and a dash of that. Mix it up below. Okay, let me give you the short version of the grocery mistake. I sent the love of my life to the grocery store to get me two beef chuck boneless rolls. He and all his infinite wisdom decide to get one of the beef chuck boneless rolls and get one bottom round rolls, which a bottom round roast is not a bad cut of meat if you are baking it. It doesn't have a whole lot of fat. It's not made for slow cooking. I couldn't tell him that he got the wrong thing. He tried. So I figured, hey, let me make the best of what I got. So I decided to cube them up, put them in a freezer bag, sit them in the refrigerator with some Adolf's meat tenderizer and see what happens when I put them together. Now, this is the bottom roast here. And as you see, really lean, not a whole lot of marbling, not as shiny. This is the beef chuck roast. A lot of marbling inside that meat and pretty shiny and moist looking already. Now let's get to the ingredients. Now you know, I already put the Adolf's meat tenderizer on this meat, sat it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes so it can marinate. I have the Lowry season salt. I have white pepper, black pepper, paprika, olive oil, onion soup mix, butter that makes things all better, ranch seasoning, my trinity of celery, onion, bell pepper, and a fresh sprig of rosemary, and of course the two different roasts that I've cubed up. I'm going to heat up my skillet on high and I'm going to put about a tablespoon and a half of the olive oil in the skillet so I can begin to brown those cubes of meat lightly. I don't want to sear them too much. Let me check and see if this skillet is ready for this meat. Okay, I see a little smoke and the water's dancing, so it's ready to put that meat in and brown it. Okay, we're gonna get this skillet full of this meat, and like I said, we're gonna lightly brown it on both sides. Okay, it's in the skillet, starting to brown, not cooking too fast. It needs to look like this once it's brown, and like I said, lightly. I don't want any crisp on this. I am trying to avoid overcooking the pieces of meat that are not the chuck rolls. I'm also gonna season this meat in the skillet before I start the real long-term cooking. And I do it on both sides. So let me get this that I browned into the pot with the rest of it. And then I'm gonna finish that seasoning up. I'm gonna use all of that. I'm gonna get it over every piece of the meat. It's all gonna be kissed. You wanna make sure that it's absorbed into the meat. You don't see any more white. And then I'm going to stir it through. Yeah, just like that, that's good. And then I wanna get my Trinity Girls and I'll sprig of rosemary. Oh, you thought I forgot. There you go, just like that. Now I'm gonna take 32 ounces of beef broth. I don't wanna submerge the beef. I want the stock just to come right up to the top of the beef. Now let's put in a whole packet of our onion soup mix. And I didn't forget the butter. I'm not showing that part, but I need to let you know, once you stir this onion soup mix into that beef stock and with the rest of those seasonings, you want to get that piece of butter, that whole stick, and you stick it right on top, cover it, turn your heat up to a medium high, and then you want to cook this down for about an hour. 
to an hour and a half. And it's going to come out looking like this. Every piece of that beef is tender. It's moist. It's savory. Look at that gravy. It's delicious. It has no flour. The butter has emulsified it. And we're going to plate this puppy up right here, right now. And as you see, my beef has some gas, some good old southern potato salad, and my sweet and tangy greens. I can't wait. I can't wait. Come on to my mouth. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. It's so moist. It is so tender. You wouldn't believe that these two types of roast that are not supposed to even be friends taste so good together. This is touching my soul. Woo, child. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> this is touching my soul. I can't wait to eat those greens and potato salad. If you like this video, I need for you to hit that like button. Remember to hit the notification bell so you'll never be left out when I have a new recipe coming at you. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, you know what I wish you. A little love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye.